Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, we are going to see how we can apply one-way binding in our Angular application. One-way binding is nothing but as name suggests, it binds the data in one directional, that is unidirectional. In Angular, there is a concept of one-way binding where data gets bind or data flows from TypeScript TS file to HTML template file. This is very useful when we are writing any logic or fetching the data from database or in many scenarios where we are pushing data or any status or anything from our TypeScript file to HTML template file. There is a simple way by using which we can apply one-way binding in our application. For that one, you can use double curly braces to get the data from TypeScript file or apply the one-way binding in our application. So let me take an example where we have a variable in our TypeScript file. Let's consider status as a variable where I am going to store status of any project. And for this example, let me have this one as status as pending. And in this case, I want to bring the data of the status to my HTML template file. In that case, I can use double curly braces. Just within double curly braces, you can mention the variable name what you are using in your TypeScript file. That is status, you just copy and paste within these two curly braces. That's it, what you need to do to use one-way binding in your application. Let me add a title for this one, current status is. So save this file and you can observe as soon as I save the file, it should be reflecting in our HTML page. As you can see here, data is getting fetched from TypeScript file. This is simple but very useful in our real-time applications development. That's it guys for this video. Thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on like button and share it to others.